What are the best gauges for an HVAC technician? What are the gauges that I use and why? Today I'm going to give you a video on what are the best gauges? What do I use and why do I use them? Today's video is brought to you by all of the viewers asking me to do a video on this. I really appreciate all my viewers, my subscribers, and especially my members. If you want help, you need HVAC consultation, you need tech support, definitely join. Click the join button. Let me know in the comment section when you've joined. Say, I joined. I'll get you my email and that'll lead you to getting my number so that I can help you with your project or help you with tech support. So let's get started with what gauges I use and why. Before we do that, hit the like button, the bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing, and then definitely subscribe. I really appreciate all of you subscribers. You are awesome. Members, you make this happen. So what gauges do I use? Let's take a look at them, and then I'll talk about why, and we're going to talk about digital sets as well, because I've had a couple digital sets. I've actually had field piece S-Man gauges. I'm going to tell you the disadvantages and the advantages of having both. So this is the current set of gauges I've had for the last few years. It's made by Yellow Jacket. Yellow Jacket is one of the best manufacturers of gauges. This is a Titan four valve manifold. It's heavy duty. It's lightweight though. It's got really nice knobs here. We've got our low side gauge, our high side gauge. I commonly use this for three different types of refrigerants I can name right off the bat. R22, 410A, and 404A. 404A is coolers, refrigeration, and then R22 and 410A is mostly residential, a little bit of commercial, right? I have my little valves for my hoses. I've got quarter inch hoses, and then on this manifold here, I've got my larger 3 8 connection. So you can use a separate hose for your evacuation. You've got a larger connection so that you can shorten the evacuation time. So this is a really nice set of gauges. Link in the description if you wanna pick this up. Let me talk to you about digital though versus this okay and if you want to learn more about charging i'll tell you what to do about that so i've got a video on superheat and subcooling charging the correct way you can check that video out on my playlist hvac tips for technicians the reason i use this set of yellow jacket gauges is because it's really about the money honestly and it's about me too because you want to make sure that you take really good care of your gauges and if you you know throw them around and they get busted then if this is a $200 set which it is around a $200 set if I break one of these um, you know the high side gauge or the low side gauge you can see that all I got to do is replace it I can take a adjustable crescent wrench I can take that gauge off and just replace it easy peasy lemon squeezy if I have a digital set and I break them and I pay six or seven hundred dollars and let's say I break the, uh, you know, the display, the digital display, then I'm going to be out of a lot more money. So for me, if this set will last just as long as a digital set, then I don't have to spend as much money when I buy a new set of gauges, which you should take care of your tools. And this set of gauges should last you as long as you're in the HVAC career, but mistakes happen. But for me, I'm a lot rougher on tools than I should be. So I got to make sure that I'm not having to buy a set of gauges every you know year or two. And if I am, I definitely don't need to have a set of digital. Now, let me tell you the advantages of having a digital set. Because I again, I've had a couple field piece S-Man gauges and they're great. Why are they great? Because they do all the calculations for you, right? You have a temperature clamp on probe. And with S-Man, you have a digital display and it precisely gives you the super heat and sub cooling right there. So you're paying for convenience, right? Now, for me, I hook up my gauges. I have my field piece SC440, which is my meter. If you've seen in my, any of my other videos, especially the one on charging, then I use a clamp on temperature probe to measure line temperature, liquid line and suction line so that I can get my uh, readings and then convert and do super heat and sub cooling, right? I gotta know what my liquid levels are. So convenience. That's what you get with the digital set. You got your clamp on temperature probes already connected to your display. With this set right here, I have to have my SC440 meter and I have to have my uh, temperature probe and it's not connected to this manifold charging set of gauges, right? So digital, a lot more expensive, like three times more expensive than this set of gauges, but you've got precise temperatures and conversions and it's easier for you to get super and sub cooling, right? But with this set, just a few more steps and I can have the same thing. So it's up to you really. What do you want? Do you want it to be more convenient? Are you willing to spend the more money? If so, are you going to take care of it? 
to where it doesn't get messed up. That's what I would say to you. If you're going to spend the extra money, make sure that you're willing to take care of it. Put it in a really safe spot every time you put it back up. I think one set of S-Man Field Piece, I got wet. And that ruined that set. And then the other set, I dropped. So it didn't take much, and they were ruined. So convenience, got to take care of it. All right, so that was today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, put those down there. Any questions? If you don't have any questions, that's fine. Tell me who you are. Tell me where you're from. And then let me know what you think about what set of gauges you will get. What set of gauges do you think are the best? What set of gauges are you getting? Or if you already have some, let me know what you did get. I want to know. So I'm Tad. You've been watching Tips for Technicians. And I'll keep you cool if you let me. Thanks.